welcome to April's um, Take and Create. Um, we are going to do a faux metal technique using a paper bag. So your kit's going to include a piece of paper bag. You're going to get glue. You're going to get a block. You're going to get a candle. You're going to get a pattern. We have a butterfly, a flower, and a leaf. And then you're going to get a couple strands of wire. Okay? And that's what's going to be your kit. So, to get started, and you're going to need drying time in between. So you're going to have multiple steps. So you're going to start out with your pattern. I cut mine out into the visual pieces. So whatever one you want to decide to use, you can. So then I traced it out on my piece of paper, my um, paper bag, and comes in the two pieces. I just use an ink pen to trace around it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cutout per butterfly and you're going to take your piece of wire, one of your pieces of wire, your long piece of wire, and you're going to glue it down. So, I mean, you're going to get messy unless you like to be neat. <laughs> you're going to put your wire down, you're going to glue it down, and then the next step is you're going to take, I just used my finger, and I have a like a wet towel ready just to wipe everything off. You're going to take your finger, and then you're just going to spread glue all over on the inside so that when you glue these two pieces together. And at this time, you can add your little um, butterfly antennas, or you can wait and add it afterwards. So I've done it both ways. I've done it with and without. And so you're just going to get this, and then you're going to line these up. And it doesn't matter if you get glue on the outside. So you're just going to press it down, make sure it's nice and sealed. And then you're going to allow that to dry. But sometimes you can just probably push it and keep it together and you're going to dry. So I already have one that's dried. Let me get some of that glue off my hands and we'll show you the next step. The next step is, this is my already dried together. Like I said, I made my little antennas and put them in advance. And so next step is you're going to take your glue and you're going to rub it. You decide which one you want as your friend. It doesn't make a difference which side you want. And you're just going to take your glue and you're going to be nice and heavy handed with it and rub it all over your front of your butterfly. And if you go thick, I said it'll see how this butterfly has the detail on it. It's We do like a mushing while it's still wet. So the thicker you put your glue on, the more detail you'll be able to get out of your butterfly after it's been burnt. So there, I think that looks nice and covered. Okay, get your wet towel. Let's get my glue out of the way. Um, you're gonna want something to put your candle in. I had these from a craft I made. I don't know, I don't have any more. <laughs> but um, you can find like a thimble or a shot glass or something, or you can even burn the bottom of your candle and stick it on a plate or something because you're gonna wanna stick it you know, upright or you, you can even get a bigger votive candle. I When I bought these, I read four inches and wasn't thinking of the width along with the length. And so this is why we have this. So you're going to light your candle. And then you're going to want to hold. See, you're going to need something so you don't want it to dump, pop over. Then you're going to just take your butterfly and you're going to hold it over the flame. You don't want to go down in the flame because it'll put your flame out. So then you're just going to burn and it'll get smoky. But 
and see it starts to burn black you're just going to do this all over your butterfly until it's all burnt and if it doesn't cover if you look just keep checking it you're just going to burn over It'll bubble. Um, I use the Aline's tacky glue because that's what I had seen the craft made of. I don't know if you could use just Elmer's glue, you know, the school glue. But yeah, see, we're getting close to being almost done. <laughs> we hide them under the table. I thought it was there is none. You just you, you, mental telepathy. <laughs> no, because I have my computer up there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're going to want to have a paper towel close and handy, just so that you can. And as you see, like if you see any white glue, you're going to want to burn over that area. Okay. And then you're going to get soot, so but you're going to want it to dry. So you want to make sure you get your all the areas that are showing. That's glue. And the paper bag on the back might catch on fire, but it'll be good. So I think we look good. So. We're going to blow out our candle <laughs> so we don't have any accidents. So first thing you're going to do is, since you want to get that um, texture look, you're going to want to like press with your paper towel that you have on hand and you can give it a little smoosh, like bend, twist, just so you can get like that metal look to your project. And that's why I said when you have, and if you rip it and show it more like that, you can go back and you can reburn it. You can add more glue. And light your candle back up. You can tell I use Zippos a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's a bick. But, and just burn that area again. Okay, and that's all it is. That's all how you get this. So once this is dry, you're going to want to let this dry. So we're going to set this off to the side. You're going to want to let that dry, and then it's going to look like this. So it'll all be sooty and everything like that. So you're going to take your paper towel, and you're just going to want to rub off the soot. So it looks really cool like this because it'll turn nice and shiny from the burnt glue so you can leave your project as is because I mean it it looks really neat to me I kind of like that look or you can take I have did this butterfly with gold paint and then I did my little flower which I stuck a little picture on there I did it in the silver, so it kind of looks like a pewter. So let's put my little picture back. So you can leave it like this, or like I said, you can just take and do your paint. I just use a silver acrylic paint. I dabbed it on my finger. I don't mind getting dirty. <laughs> and I just rubbed it over top of my butterfly. 
You don't have to be to cover it. It's your preference and you can wipe some off so you can see more of the texture. You can add more. I think the silver gives it kind of like a, a pewter look. And you get your butterfly. Okay. So then you're going to take your butterfly once it's done and you're going to make your little antennas. And you're just going to take a small piece of wire and I just bent mine in half, crimped the edge and I have these little pliers and I'm just going to curl the ends around and then the other one same way you can make yours as long as short as you want and then I like to face mine out if you like to face yours in you can and then I just bent so and then you're just gonna put it and glue it onto your back I also made these little curly cues and that is how I am hanging the picture on my flower is because I glued one to the center. So you can make and do whatever you want. I glued one on the back of my butterfly so that I can also do it on it once it's dried and everything. But yeah, it's just a little bit time consuming this craft because you just got to wait for things to dry and everything. And you just, like I said, you want to make sure your candle is nice and sturdy so that it doesn't tip over. And um, you can take your little block of wood. You can drill a hole in it. I just glued mine down. I made a little curly clue, cue and glued mine down. You can, like I said, you can burn the block of wood. So I had these little heart-shaped wood cutouts that I made into um, put some pin backs on them I made little pins this is the silver and then this one's in the gold um, it's really fun and easy and then you can decorate your block of wood the same way you can cover it with the glue and burn it but you're gonna want to like um, attach a piece of wire or something to it to hold on to or you can you know because you don't want the flames coming around or anything but you can still do the technique with this where I think I'm just gonna go and stain mine you can paint it um, you can do anything you want with your block of wood like I said you can drill a hole in it and put your wire in the hole or you can make the little loop-de-loop -loop on the bottom like so and how I made my little stand, um, however you want to finish your project off. But I had made, I had burnt some of the wood disc, which I haven't cleaned yet, which will make really nice buttons. You can paint them, you can leave them this color, but um, it's a easy craft that you can do a fun faux metal technique to uh, make paper bags and glue look like metal. So, but here's some of our finished buttons. And this is my finished butterfly. And I just stuck mine in a cork and stood it up. And then I have my little flower. So, I hope you. Uh, try this technique. It's fun. It's easy. Um, just got to be careful with the candle. Make sure you put it in something sturdy. Okay. Thank you. I hope you enjoy our April's uh, craft, our faux metal technique. Thanks. Bye.